Numerical simulations are used everywhere in modern engineering. For example, electromagnetic and computational fluid dynamic simulations are routinely employed to design vehicles, lasers, classical and quantum computer chips, and consumer electronics. And we also know that ChatGPT is impacting many of these same fields. So as a simulation engineer, today I'm going to put the two together and see if ChatGPT can perform an electromagnetic simulation. We're going to ask ChatGPT to run simulations based on Tidy 3D, a simulation software that solves Maxwell's equations to simulate the propagation of light. Tidy 3D has a web-based graphical user interface, but we know ChatGPT can't interact with that, at least not yet. Instead, Tidy 3D has a well-documented API solver that runs in the cloud, and ChatGPT can write code for this API in Python. So let's just ask ChatGPT to write a script to set up a simulation this way and see what happens. We don't plan to give it any new knowledge or perform any fine-tuning. We'll just use it right out of the box. Here we ask, can you write a Python script to set up a 3D simulation that a plane wave illuminates a dielectric box with a side length of 1 micron in Tidy 3D? The box is a permittivity of 12, and I want to see that field distribution in the cross-section of the box at 150 terahertz. This is a basic electromagnetic simulation, and I'm curious to see if ChatGPT can understand my requirement, set up the simulation in the correct order, and plot the simulation results that I ask for. ChatGPT quickly outlines the steps we need to take to perform the simulation. These steps look reasonable, and I'm very impressed. Clearly, ChatGPT knows how to do numerical simulations. It also mentions that Tidy 3D is a powerful simulation software for 3D photonic and electromagnetic simulations, and we like to hear that. Then ChatGPT goes on to write the actual script. The script looks good at first glance, but as a human expert who is familiar with Tidy 3D's Python API, I notice a number of syntax errors. This shouldn't come as a surprise since ChatGPT is trained on data prior to 2021, and Tidy 3D's Python API has changed considerably since then. Well, there might be something we can do. We know ChatGPT can learn new information, so let's provide it with some new API references and examples. We go to the documentation site for Tidy 3D, copy some information from the API reference, and paste it into ChatGPT. After receiving the latest API reference, ChatGPT politely thanks us and is ready to set up Tidy 3D simulations again, so we just ask it to set up the same simulation. Upon careful inspection, the script looks much better this time. The syntax follows the modern Tidy 3D API, and the structure, source, and monitor are all defined correctly. So we go ahead and run the script in a Python IDE, but receive an error message. It turns out that tidy3d.structure is not important. ChatGPT often makes minor mistakes like this, and we notice the plane wave has a size of 1 micron by 1 micron, but the simulation domain has a size of 3 microns by 3 microns. This will cause an issue, so it's better to make the plane wave the same size as the domain. Let's ask ChatGPT to correct the code for us. And lo and behold, it corrects the code, and now it works perfectly. We can visualize the simulation setup, and we see the dielectric box at the center of the simulation domain, a plane wave on the left propagating to the right, and a field monitor in the cross-section of the box, and PML on all boundaries. After running the simulation, we successfully visualize the field distribution at the cross-section. Overall, ChatGPT did a great job. Now can it build more complex simulations such as metamaterials, photonic crystals, and integrated photonic components? Unfortunately, most of the codes contain errors and inappropriate settings that require a lot of human attention, which cancel out my time savings. Clearly, ChatGPT is a little confused, but let's keep in mind that it's still early days, and hopefully it will continue to learn more and improve in the future. From this simple demo, we can already see the potential of using artificial intelligence to assist human simulation experts in their daily workflows. Although it is not perfect and can still not work totally independently, given how fast AI technology is progressing, we can certainly foresee a near future where AI becomes an indispensable asset to every simulation engineer.